Hello everybody and welcome back to Staxel where we are back on the farm. Oh, all the cabbages here are ready already. Wow, that was quick. Uh, I've just pulled up a whole big bunch of sugar beets and I'm going to put them all back in here because sugar beets do only take four days and we don't have that long left. So I'm going to stick... Wow, we have 66 sugar beets. Do I have that? Oh, that's 30 spaces there. 30 spaces there. Another probably 15 odd spaces there. A few spaces down the end. I might only want to put like 30 or 40 in actually. I might want to split the stack. So let's just go into my inventory and split that stack in half. Or not. You know, we could always not. Now it decides it's going to... Honestly. Half the time it decides it's going to split in half and half the time it decides it's going to put one down. What it should be. I think that's fair enough. If if you right click on it, it splits one off. If you left click and then right click, one comes off. That makes more sense. I'm sure it wasn't working like that last time, but it makes sense. So let's pop those in. And we'll harvest these cabbages and we'll do some watering as well. Um, I don't think the cabbages are going to quite be in time to do another harvest. It's, they're six days each. Uh, so I've got to be a bit careful with that. Actually, I could plant sugar beets in the cabbages spot, so I could probably put all of them in. We'll see. We'll see how many I need by the time I've replanted them. So while the uh, reaper is doing its thing, I'm just going to water all of the land. All of the land, everywhere, not just the plants, the farm, like all of it, the whole map. No, I'm not. I'm just going to do the farm. That'll be all... I think you can water things in advance in this game. I really hope you can. Pretty sure you can. And now we have like a whole field full of sunflowers, which is great. Because as I say, sunflowers, you don't have to worry at all about... They grow all year round. All the way through the year. So that's why I think sunflowers are great. But you've got to kind of save up for them a little bit. Well, actually, I think I can buy sunflower seeds, so I really think we need a massive, like, sunflower garden. It might even be a different shape to the vegetable patch that we've got here. It's a big vegetable patch, but I still call it the vegetable patch. So we got one sunflower seed and two sunflowers. I can plant the sunflower seed, but the sunflowers will have to wait because the reaper is busy right now. I'll take those. Planting and harvesting takes the longest. So I that's why I say things like eggplants and stuff are going to be really useful. Especially now I'm going to have them in a reasonable order. Like, I didn't like it when I had that sort of mixed up vegetable patch. I'd rather buy the seeds, honestly. I know you get free seeds when they're mixed seeds, but they're just such a pain. I like to know what I'm planting and I like it all to be in a nice neat row and all that sort of thing. I really need more cobblestone, don't I? I'm trying to save up for animals though. Oh, that stopped apparently. Okay, fine. I think we are due to have some honey ready today as well. So that will need to be missed one there. So you guys, I think I am getting better at watering and not missing crops and stuff. And I think... Having such a, an organised little farm is really helping. Well, I'm going to need to go and uh, catch that grasshopper. So many grasshoppers around. They're so good. They're like 30 each and the other day I had like 12 of them or something and I got loads of money. It was so good. Right, I'm gonna, I think, keep, because I think there's a recipe here for a salad and it involves cabbage, lettuce, tomato, cucumber and cabbage. But lettuce, tomato and cucumber, they all like grow in the summer but cabbage grows in the winter so I could never make them. So I'm going to cut up all my cabbage and I'm going to keep it on the shelf 
until the summer and then I can start making salads and see if they sell for more, which I imagine they would do. Provided the game is well balanced. Although like Verdant Skies is actually worth less. It's a bit of a crazy game in that regard. Is that everything watered? I think it is. So we're just gonna I'll grab those sugar beet seeds. Make sure it's carrying on doing its thing. So I'll carry on the row down here that I was planting earlier. Oh no, we haven't got Drew's egg today. Oh no. I always forget that. Drew, do you, is your egg still there? Oh, phew. Thank goodness. And we'll say hello. And the cows have their cow splats. And we can milk them on the way as well. Hey, Buttercup. I really want to get like more cows and sheep and and things like that really soon. I just don't. I haven't had the money. I've not even got enough money right now to buy a chicken. That's how bad this is. And more bees would be really useful as well. I definitely got to the point now where I've progressed far enough that I don't have to worry too much about going out and collecting insects and stuff. That seems to be something that was pretty much for the early game and now my farm is actually producing. Okay, so that's available. Bees are grumpy. Bees are grumpy. Two days remaining. Cool. So I'll smoke these two out. That one didn't quite catch, I don't think. Better. And we've got two nice full honey pots. Great, so we've milked the cows. We've picked up the egg from Drew. There's a few uh, cat no, crickets that we can pick up as well from the yard. And then I'll get back onto the crops. And once we've done the crops, it'll probably be time to go to bed. So I won't even have time to do anything on my house. Because <laughs> this is how my day goes in Staxel at the moment. It's kind of crazy. These bees look very angry and buzzy around those beehives, but I, I really do want to eventually, like, make a whole big load of beehives around here. And as I say, I do eventually want to kind of replace some of the grass to make everything more uniform, you know, pick everything up off the ground, all that sort of thing. More berry bushes, tons of them. I just really enjoy, like, expanding the farm, probably more than I should, but... I've got 37 seeds here now. I think that'll probably be enough, honestly. I'll be one short on one of the rows, but do you know what? I'm at the point now where I don't really care anymore. I just want to get done with it, honestly. So we'll chop up some of the sugar beet and we'll make it into sugar. Etc. Etc. I think I still have a ton of stuff like sitting in the kitchen. What I think I need to do is get multiple cutters because I've got so many vegetables and things that need cutting. So I can go cut, 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 and do like four at a time. And that way I'll get through them so much faster. But that's going to cost me a few thousand in cutters. <laughs> The money is going to start coming in really soon. Like once I've got all these things set up, the money will come in and then I will be like sitting pretty. Uh, I need to water these guys. I think that is everything watered now. It better be. It better be. Yeah, I'm certain it is. Okay, cool. So now I have done that, I can go and I can sell my boiled eggs for a start. That's 279's worth of boiled eggs. Now I think I want to be keeping the eggs now for making cake possibly. Oh we've got a golden sugar beet seed. Need to plant. Need to plant right away. I can sell my honey as well. That's a thousand already. That's enough for a cutter just from the honey I'm making. Honey is so lucrative. It's so good. Uh, golden beet seed. 
There you go. Any other seeds hanging around? No. Okay, fine. I'm happy enough with that many. That'll do me for the rest of the season. Okay, so what am I going to need here? I'm going to need some more beams for the morning. I think I might have passed out before I did that. One, two, three, four, five, six times one, two, three, four, five, six. Six sixes are 36, so I think 36 will probably cover that square. So I'll make, I'll get 36. If I'm wrong, then I'll just grab whatever else I need to, to finish it. So one of those beams, and I need 36 of them. Order. Thank you very much. So those will come in the morning. Do I have any red roof tiles? I do still have some. So let's go and see what we can do to the roof. So there's definitely more that we can do to the roof there. I might need some dirt blocks or something just to stand on. Let me go grab those from inside. Oh, it's hard work doing this, you know? Building and farming and looking after animals. That barn is a state as well. It's horrendous. Like even just a basic little barn. And I've managed to make it look awful. Okay, so we're on the roof. Beautiful. I might need to do something about that block there. I don't think that's going to turn quite right. Uh, let me see. So if you guys um, have only just started watching and you haven't watched some of my earlier episodes, I'll grab that in a minute. Um, if you want corners, generally, if you if you find that uh, they're not butting up, you need to scroll your mouse wheel to get it to turn and that will help you a lot. So that's good. That's all of the roof done there. I've got a couple of corners to do here. You see how I turned that one around to make a corner. need turning to make it like an internal corner there we go and generally you can make do without having to worry about something um, holding up the roof you can kind of get away with it if you're careful right that's all done I think I now need to just do like the uh, overhang that's along here And I think that is all of the roof um, finished, except for the bits that go on the top. So all of the sort of stair-like bits of the roof are done. So let's see if I can kind of try and count how many we need. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, times one, two, three, four, five. I reckon we need 56 there. Don't know where all these math skills are coming from. Good grief. So anyway, uh, I want to go back to the catalogue and I want roof, red roof, those blocks. I want 56 of those to try and finish off the top of the roof. And then we're good, I think. Hmm. 56. Order. So that's like 800 just on roof tile blocks. It's crazy how much I'm spending there. Good job I'm making a lot though. Also, let's let's just go, let's just bite the bullet, shall we? Let's just bite this bullet and uh, order a couple more cutters. Can we not get cutters? Cutting, cutting station? Chopping station. Chopping station, that's the one I want. So I want like, I'm gonna get two of them and I'm just gonna spend a lot of my money on that. Okay, so that's gonna help me a ton when it comes to slicing because I can sit 
one like there, one around the corner there, and I can go meow, 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 like that. And make that exact noise as well. Pick up these creams, make them into butter for now. I will try and pick up the yogurt recipe at some point, but at the moment I do not have it and I don't know what I need to do to make yogurt, so I'll just carry on making some butter and selling that for now. This is just still the onions. Like, I've got so much I need to chop. And if I could do it three times as fast, that would be amazing, because I've got to stand and do this manually, and it takes ages. I'm starting to feel sleepy. See, this is what I need to do. Go back and forward between all the stations and start making loads of stuff. I could sell that butter by the morning. Then that would help me considerably with getting some of my money back. If I could start, if I could get another cow and start making three butters a day, that would be amazing. That's like 2,000. Oh, new day. Sheila got knocked out. She lab slept on the floor. She lab has good work, work ethic. <laughs> right, so we've got all these things to help. Oh, it's snowing. Great. This is good. Snowing is good in this uh, game for me, anyway. Tilly is meowing, so I don't know if that means that Tilly is uh, hungry. Having this extra space in the kitchen. This is why I wanted the extra space in the kitchen. So I could sit and cut all my different veggies all up on all these chopping stations. So I can literally sit here and go, cut. Oh, no, that's not going to help if I do that. Come on, put that down, put that, put that down. This is better. See, four might be better, but basically by the time they're all done, the next one's ready to go. Pretty much. I think I could do four. So when I get another thousand or so, well, actually, I could get another chopping station today. But how much better is that than waiting at the chopping station? It's not the most riveting thing. because I can hear lots of meows. Do you need food? Yes, you do. Tilly meows a lot when she wants food. She's a very hungry kitty. Oh, hang on. Did I have all the food in my inventory? Yes, I did, apparently. And I don't have much food left. Oh, interesting. So, a little bit... Yeah, it's pet food. I'll uh, order some in the shipping container again. In the shipping catalogue. So, I want food. Pet food. There we go. Pet food recipe. Hmm. That might be worth considering, actually. Depending on what it requires. Well, for now, I'm just gonna. I'll just order like five food. And I did want another shopping station. Because they're really handy, really, really handy. And I know I've got a lot of, um, I've spent a lot of money on chopping stations, but I think that that's going to help preserve everybody's sanity. You guys not think that? You don't really want to watch me individually. Oh no. It has a way round, rats. Can I pick you up from that? Oh, I can pick it up all the way from there. That's great. That's better. So I, I've got the right colour for once as well. That's good. 
We are so nearly there with this. It's great. So I, I do need to go and see Drew and get the egg off him today. Don't ask me why my male chicken lays eggs. It's just the way it works, okay? But even if I milk the cows, uh, apparently you can try and milk the cows twice in a day. It sometimes works. Glowing with life. Collect up the cow splats as well, because uh, A, it's good and tidy. And B, it's money for me. Yay. I need to get these guys more floor tiles. How many do I need? One, two, three, four. And two times four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So that's ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Twenty eight, I think. Twenty eight, and they're dark wood flooring. Let's get their floor sorted in their barn. Twenty eight dark wood flooring. Dark wood flooring. There we are. Dark wooden plank flooring. And I wanted about 28, I said, didn't I? So order those. They will come tomorrow. And hopefully that will mean that the barn will be a little bit more finished. Okay, so now I've got all the animal products off the animals. And all of this lot is just sitting there getting ripe. The turnips can be harvested as well. There's a couple of things that could be harvested, but we'll do that after we fix the roof up. And then we'll go catch all the grasshoppers again. Gee, I'm going to have such a big collection of grasshoppers. It's going to be unreal. But it's so nice having those extra chopping stations and having the room for them. I really did need to do that whole um, renovation of the kitchen and the extension to the house because that now means I can put all this chopping and frying and baking and all those kinds of stations in it might be a baking station i need to actually do the cakes and stuff i'm gonna get some jam recipes gonna get some smoothie recipes gonna get all the stuff for the kitchen it's gonna be so good in a game like this kitchens are important for making the money but from here i can see my whole farm look at that Wow, look at the view. That barn is going to look so much better when the roof is finished on it, honestly. Oh, really? How did I manage to miscount by one roof tile? Oh, well, never mind. I can always sell it or something. Right, let's go catching... Uh... I love rainy days, you have so much more time. So let's go and catch the grasshoppers. But they are still worth quite a lot to me, especially considering how many there are within such a tiny amount of space. Winter grasshoppers for the win. It's all you can hear, it's grasshopper sounds. Hey, you, come here. But yeah, expanding the apiaries as well is going to be such a big money spinner for me, I feel. They're not apparently grasshoppers, they're apparently crickets. I don't know if there is a big difference between a grasshopper and a cricket. There probably is. And I could probably find it on Wikipedia. Or you guys can and put it in the comments for me. Any, uh... Amateur botanists out there. Is it a botan? No, it's not a zoologist, isn't it? If you're doing animals and insects and stuff. Botany is more plants, I believe. Okay, so I'm going to directly sell the golden turnips, I think, and then chop up the rest. I don't know whether the golden ones... Um, it, whether it is better to chop them or not. I know it is better with all the other kinds of vegetables. Okay, I passed about... 
this time of the winter, I'm not actually going to do it anymore. I'm going to do all the chopping. I'm not going to sit and do any more um, planting until next season now. Ah, I do not have enough reagents. Well, you say that. I think I do. So the idea is to sell the chopped onion, sell the chopped turnip, but keep the chopped cabbage for making salads in the summertime. You can make 30 or so salads and I think that would be really useful. Um, any sugar beet that I chop up, most of the sugar beet went back into the seeds, but any sugar beet I chop up will go to, into making sugar, which I will keep again for making uh, cakes. I don't know if I need a recipe for flour. But I am really enjoying having the um, that shipping station because it allows me to, to get anything I want. So much better than having to look in the shops and they might not have it. They've got all the blocks that match everything. That was such a good purchase. I know that I could have bought like an extra cow or an extra... No, not an extra cow, but I could have bought an extra chicken for the price of the shipping station. But my goodness, was it so worth it. I barely have to leave the farm now. Although I do think that um, trying to get Rhea's fishing station done, I haven't forgotten about that. It's just, uh, I have a lot of things to do, you know, like chopping up stuff. <laughs> chopping up loads of stuff. Let me have a look at the cake recipe. So for cake, and there's going to be things like carrot cake and stuff like that to make as well. So cake, egg, sugar, flour, butter. Oh, I should be keeping my butter then. Okay. But the eggs need to stay not boiled as well. I will have enough butter to like to do that though. By the time I have flour. How do I make flour? Hmm. I wonder if there's a recipe for flour, because I'm gonna need that for cake. Let's go to the, the shipping station and see if there's a flour recipe. No, okay. Um, what kind of machines do I have? Get rid of the, the search term, but... I'm going to just flick through the catalogue here. And see if I can find the... Different machines, because it might be like a... A grinder or cutter or something like that to get flour or you might have to buy it you might actually just have to buy it but I know you can make oats and wheat and things like that you can grow them there certainly wasn't a recipe for flour but that doesn't mean that you can't just directly make it in the same way that the mixer was like milk and butter and stuff like that I was looking through for all the machines because I don't know what machines I have at the moment and which ones Kitchen sink, here with this is closer. Okay, this is furniture. Furniture, furniture, furniture. Anything that looks like a machine. It might be in the tool one. Baking station, a thousand. Boiling. Assembly. Chopping. Seed maker. Kitchen mixing station. We've got frying station. Combining station. Table saw sink. Tiling. No, that's the tiling one and all that are for um, carving construction. They're all for blocks. They're all for like a workshop to make blocks. Capture crate, a broom. What do you do with a broom? Fishing rod. That might be useful to have at some point once we make the fishing pier. Yeah, I would like a baking station and a frying station, but we don't have the money for either yet. Yeah, I don't know how to make flour yet. I really don't, and that's uh, kind of annoying, but never mind. We have nothing to sell yet. Oh my goodness, I need to keep need to keep chopping. I 
Everything's watered, right? It's snowing, isn't it? So everything is watered, yeah. Until he is fed, right? No. There you go. I want to check on the cows and everything. Because I can try for a second milking. That sometimes works if they're really happy. And they're well fed. But they need another uh, bit of cow food. Cow food. If I build another building, I'll be making it with uh, the red roof tiles. Because uh, these, these ones are orange roof tiles. Not red ones. Any of these done yet? Oh yeah, I was going to say those looked really done. And they are done. That is why they look done. So this is where I'm really going to start raking in the money though. I'm going to be chopping up all these things and making lots of money from chopped vegetables. But then, as I say, I'm going to be looking more and more and more. As I get more money in, we're looking more and more and more at different recipes. And uh, I might start, might finally start planting my trees. Oh, those are done too. Okay. Everything is done today. Many, many turnips. But I like to spend a little bit more time towards the end of the season. Um, processing goods. Uh, building. Spending time with my animals. Stuff like that. So I don't like to replant too many crops because it just takes away too much time but all those sugar beets will be done and they they are going to be so lucrative with so all those onions we got like two fields worth of sugar beets do i still have some sugar beets in my inventory as well because oh yeah i do have like 30 that's fine i was like i don't remember all right so i need to sell my gold and stuff and also i need to put these sunflowers in to the reaper and we will plant them the reaper was busy earlier we didn't get multiples which is a bit of a shame but never mind from those two sunflowers we now have three sunflowers i sometimes think it's a fine line between seed making and buying i really do I'm actually going to move this wardrobe. I'm kind of not so happy with where that is. And also we need to fix the roof, don't we? That's still not done. The inside roof. So the wardrobe. I mean, we could put it in the kitchen like a kitchen cupboard in a way. I don't mind it being in there. And the table the same, really. There would be good, but I think I'm going to want another cutter there, so possibly here somewhere. Oh no, there's like a, a bit of floor I missed. Mm, that's annoying. So I now can't move this table because every time I try, I oh, have to aim for the legs. Okay, cool. Like every time I try, time I try and aim for the table. So what I'm going to do then is uh, pick that wardrobe back up. I'm going to put the wardrobe, I'll put the table underneath the windowsill, kind of there or something, and then I'll put the wardrobe here. Where's it gone? It's right inside my inventory, it's not on my hotbar anymore. Mm. That's a shame, I thought I could put it up on the ceiling. doesn't quite go there. I want to make like this like a stairway up and make this into like move all the bathroom tiles upstairs as well. Um, so have an upstairs for all my bedroom and my bathroom and um, make this into like a nice sitting room and get like sofas and stuff there. Then have maybe the bathroom. I'll put like all my, uh, I might even extend it out into this area and make that into a whole big storage room sort of thing and then I could have crates in there and all my shelves and stuff in there and then just make this into a pretty sort of living room area see I have plans I have plans for my place so I've got 66 of those 
How do I have 66? I don't didn't remember ordering 66. Gonna have leftovers in, a, in uh, of those now. I can't talk. I can't talk because I was so surprised by having too many of those. They're expensive as well. It's annoying. Don't need those. We could do some more chopping. Oh no! Come get back on there, you. I know you don't want to be chopped, but... Tough. Nearly there. No way it does help that they constantly do face the same way. Because wherever my character is stood, it still does the, the right orientation. So as much as it's frustrating when you're trying to learn how to do it, it kind of is beneficial. Once you get into the building a bit more. Kitchen extension is nearly done. And then I can start working properly on the barn. Yeah, kitchen extension completed. It's so nice, actually. I really, really like that. So much more space in the house now. A big gulp of my tea. Got to stay hydrated while we're doing these things, haven't we? Hydration is important, so we're going to have like 30 of these uh, cabbages, which means we're going to have 30 salads. I think I said that already, actually. No, I still have things to do. Don't make me go to sleep. I'm cutting all the cabbages and stuff. I'm going to keep doing this until it's bedtime. I have so many vegetables to chop. But I think I'm doing a good job of it now. So we have all the chopped cabbage now. Yay! So we can start chopping. I've got turnips, beetroot. I'm going to sell the golden turnips. I might need to do that in the morning. Oh, I could... No, I'm going to have to go to bed. So I think that's going to be the end of the episode for today. So we finished the kitchen extension. Our house is way bigger now. And there we are. We passed out. But yeah, the kitchen is way bigger now. So we've got loads more space for chopping and stuff like that, which is going to make us a lot more money. So I'm really, really happy with that. I might actually even put some shelving into the kitchen itself as well. Uh, maybe move stuff around a bit so that I can put ingredients onto a shelf. That would be really, really good. But anyway, that's it for me for today. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. And if you'd like to see more stacks, or please do subscribe. And I will let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.